video, I'm going to break down Tuesday's assignments, and then I will do a separate video for the genre presentation. If you want to do that, you'll have that option, and I'll explain that as we go. Okay, so here on the home screen, and I know this is for both uh, English 1 and English 2, but here on the home screen, I'm going to have all freshmen and sophomores take this path. So if you have not tabbed your journal, you need to get that done. That needs to be done. And the video is in the module independent reading for you to follow along with me to tab your journal. After that's done, I need you to complete CW number one and CW number two. CW stands for creative writing. Now, I don't have my journal with me. It's still there at the school. So I went and did a quick tabbing um, of my, one of my daughters just to kind of walk you through this. Now, when you go to complete creative writing number one and number two, in, in the explanation, the description, the instructions, whatever you want to call it, I ask you to go to your writing section. Now, I'm saying this in this video because I've actually seen students go to do their creative writing assignment in the very front page. That's not what we're doing. You need to read my instructions very, very, very specifically. So you pull to that writing tab, that writing tab. And so that first CW1 for everybody was to write your name vertically and then give me adjectives that describe you starting with the letters of your name. And I even told you, you could do your first name, middle name, last name, I didn't care. Now, this is where CW2 gets a little different. For my sophomores, you were to pick a quote. And you have instructions on, on how to do the quote and write about that quote on the second page. Freshmen, you were to do what can you not live without. You cannot choose your cell phone, tablet, iPad, smart device, whatever. It's got to be something else. And no, you can't choose water either because nobody can live without water. My lizards can't live without water. They can live without food for about a week. Can't go without water. So what else can you think of that you just cannot live without? And I have a lot of um, different questions that you can answer to help write about that piece. And I expect a whole page when we do creative writing. All right, so back to Canvas. So once that is done, I want you to view my video on genre presentation. Now, I'm telling you this because if, for those of you who are very independent and you don't need to hear me talking, you can go through the presentation all on your own. You have viewable access to this um, Google slide presentation. And all it does is it walks you through all the different genres and what they mean. Because when you take this reader survey, I ask you to click um, on all the genres that you find appealing. And this is going to help you and I to find out what you might like to read so you're not trying to pretend to read or you're struggling to read because you're reading all the wrong stuff. Um, there is a book out there for you, whether it be a classic novel or a graphic novel, a how-to book or um, a fantasy fiction series book. There's a book out there for you, but we have to figure out what it is that you're kind of interested in. So, again, you may view my genre presentation as I read through each of those for you, or you go through and view it and you read each of them. And then you're going to take the reader survey, which I'm going to add that bullet in here. I'm sorry, it's not in here. And then using your PHS library catalog and even Google, you can use Google too, you're listing 10 to 20 books that you may find interesting to read this year based off what you found out about yourself. I don't intend you to read every single one of these books. It's a list of possibilities. So if you pick up a book and you don't like it, abandon that book. Go to your list. I'm going to do this one next. And even on your list, you're going to say, don't like this book. Um, so that's, that's the reason for us, you know, coming up with all these books. So that is all you're doing today. I'm going to have video instruction for both the genre presentation, the reading survey, and the library catalog separately. And I hope you have a great Tuesday.